Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody say. My name is MJ Omota, and in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to give you a rundown of Boy Alone by Omale. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... Boy Alone by Omar Le was released on July 15th, 2022 under Keycard and Sire Records. It has 14 songs, which is about a 37-minute runtime, two features, and multiple production placements, including Orlando, P2J, Tempo, P-Prime, Nif Keys, Semzi, Debo X, Harv, Avedon, Tunes Factory, I think I got them all. I really loved how Omale opened up the album with the song Recognize. Well, it's more like an intro, song intro. It's an ambient intro that briefly develops into what seems like a full compositional song, only to last just over a minute, and I'd call it an extension of his uh, song Godly, which you all know, with more kicks and rims. Then we get into the percolating eye, which actually showcases a different Omale altogether, and by that I mean stylistically in his delivery. It actually doesn't sound as Omale-ish as his previous work, or even the opening track recognized um, on this album itself. It was interesting to hear the same percolating feeling as the album progressed, and it's probably uh, the arrangement and dominance of you know, like the bongos and percussions, which give Afrobeats that general car thing. As I listened to the album, I, I could feel that there are absolutely some standout tracks, such as Woman, which was released a couple of months back, and it has a stunning progression. I would say lyrically, this is the song every girl wants to have dedicated from her man, you know? And I mean, as such, it's, 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 it's done really, really, really well uh, over the last couple of months. I'm a Mess is a song that will grow on you, and it could be one of those feeling sad type songs and it just gets you thinking, you know? And I, I, I don't know. Omar Le was in an interesting place when he wrote that song. That's all I can say. I thought the album sequencing is probably one of the best I've heard this year. Um, together with how the beats gel together to tell a uh, coherent story in the background. The flow of the album is absolutely stellar and you'd think it was created in one sitting, especially the first maybe eight, nine tracks, just because of the unison in the sound. And this is not to say that they sound the same because they don't. The more I listened, it felt like sonically the songs came in pairs or triplets. Uh, for example, the smash understand goes with uh, never forget. Then I goes with bend you. And then there's there's more you know comparisons you could make like that. You get uh, more house-like numbers, of course, that have a bit of a tempo to them. And obviously what caught my attention is the mammoth hit Attention with Justin Bieber. When I was listening to it, I was like, wait, you know, this song sounds like it totally could have been on Drake's Honestly Nevermind album. And I know as far as people heard Drake doing it, they're like, oh, this is groundbreaking. Or some people said it was trash, whatever the case may be. But I'm telling you, obviously, it's the sound for 2022. But this song Attention has been out for a while. So Omale was onto something well ahead of the hype before the hype. Man, that was fire. Uh, but listen to it. I think it fits on the Drake album. Let me know what you think. Um, so Omale is tapping into a different realm of appeal and gets a lot more personal in the songs too. Delivery-wise, songs such as Safe Haven show you how he's grown over the last year or so. And the backing vocals almost tap into this nostalgic style of you know um arrangement mixing with the ambient layered vocals a sort of european style of doing it 
he's sounding different for sure the features on this album which is just two anyway <laughs> well Taywa is a feature and justin bieber is a co-owner of the song attention they're both top class i mean there's only two after all anyone else in the room that noticed that there's no capitalization on any of the song titles on this album interesting very interesting So what's the verdict? I'll say Boy Alone is definitely a no skips album and does well to reposition Omar Lane, distinguishing him as a unique act. There's enough familiarity in the sounds that we expect from the Afrobeats stars of his mold, but there's definitely enough risk taking uh, in remodeling the whole sound actually to just be something unique something you don't hear all the time and i mean it could work it may not work who knows he's actually done really really well and only time will tell what the fans will say for me this one is a solid 8 out of 10 and a great way to solidify his position in 2022 especially after the mammoth attention with justin bieber 8 out of 10. Moto Moto Music, the best place to listen to podcasts about African music online.